Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to animate SVGs in your website using CSS. So let's get started. An SVG is basically an image file format, but the difference is that SVG is vector based and so everything you see over here in this image is written using a markup language called SVG. So if you get the code of this image, you can go ahead and uh, make changes to the code and you can change pretty much everything inside the image. You can change the colors, you can change the shape and uh, you can even animate which is what we're going to do in this video. So the first thing you need to have is an SVG file. So you can of course create an illustration and uh, export it as an SVG file or you can even download an SVG file from the internet. So there's a website called andro.co. It contains a lot of awesome SVG images and uh, they are all free to use for your website. So let's go over here and click on browse now. And we'll just search for soccer. So click on search and uh, here we'll just type soccer so this is the image that we're going to use in the animation so just click on that and click on download svg for your projects and we can see that the svg has been downloaded now if i click on the svg and open it with google chrome here we can see the image but if i right click over here and click on inspect here we see the code of this image and we have the title we have all these uh, elements over here so all the shapes in our image are described over here and uh, you can of course go ahead and make changes to each of these uh, different values and get a different shape for your image now in the same way you can add ids to each of these uh, different elements and then go ahead and target that in your css and then uh, animate or do whatever you want over there Right now, if you take a look at the animation, we can see that we need to get uh, the reference of the soccer ball, the hands and uh, this shoe over here. So if you get access to these elements, we can go ahead and animate this image. And of course, uh, this uh, background element right here. So if you go to the code of our image, we can see that there are a lot of uh, paths over here and it is really difficult for us to know which is the soccer ball, which are the hands and which is the shoe. So it would be better if you just edit this SVG and group all the elements as you want and then go ahead and animate that. So for that we'll be using a tool called Figma which is a free UI designer. So Figma can be used on your web browser as well and they also have a desktop version. So just go ahead and download Figma. It is free to download. Now once you open Figma, just go ahead and click on this uh, region tools and then click on frame and then click somewhere over here and uh, then select a frame. So I'll just select desktop for now and then go ahead and drag and drop your SVG file over here. So this is my SVG file. I'll just drag and drop it over here. Right. So now here we can see if we open this group, there are a lot of vectors. So the first thing we'll do is we'll ungroup everything. So right click over here and click on ungroup. Now here we have all the vectors. Now let's go ahead and select each of these separately and then group them. So first of all, let's uh, select the soccer ball. And if you have more items being selected, just control shift and click on the items. Alright, now we can see that the soccer ball is being selected. Now the next thing to do is group this. So just press Ctrl G and we can see that a group has been created. So just go ahead and name this whatever you want. So I'll just name it soccer ball. Alright, now let's see what we want to group. So next we will group this background. So select this and uh, select this as well. And uh, we have one more element over here. Right, that's it with the background now just group it so here we have the group just uh, double click and uh, rename it to BG and in the background we have this element and we want to change the color so let's go ahead and rename the element so here we will type 
bg element and I'll just delete this uh, element right here. All right, that's it with the background. Now the next thing we need to group is uh, the hands. So we need to group both these hands separately because uh, both have different animations. So let's select this and this. So we have the right hand selected. Now just press Ctrl G to group it and then we'll just name it right hand. In the same way we'll select the left hand. So the left hand is selected just press Ctrl G and we'll rename it to left hand. And then we need a different group for the shoe. So let's select that and uh, press Ctrl G and uh, he will type shoe. Now lastly we need to select everything else and uh, place it inside a group and we'll call it body. So everything else is being selected and uh, we'll just group them and we'll just type body. And we have these three extra elements, I'll just delete all of them. Alright, now we can see we have these uh, groups, we have the BG, we have the right hand, we have the shoe, we have the left hand, the left hand should be above the body so we'll just drag it to the top of the body. So this is the left hand and then we have the body and then we also have the soccer ball. Now make sure to name these in such a way that you can recognize it later because uh, while exporting this SVG we're going to make sure that uh, all the groups will have the IDs with these names. Now first of all let's go ahead and select all of these and uh, I'll just make a group and uh, I'll just name it soccer. Alright now let's select this and uh, on the right just scroll down and here you will see an option called export and in that you will find this option to change the format. So just click on that and select SVG. Now if you click on preview you can preview what is going to be exported and before clicking on export just click on this uh, button called export settings and uh, here you need to select this option called include ID attribute so that all the names that we had given to these groups will be exported as IDs. Right, so just select that and click on export and I'll just export it as soccer.svg and click on save and now we can just close Figma. So I have opened up my project in VS Code and this is the file that we just exported. Now if I click on that we can see the SVG code for the image and uh, we can also see the ID that we had given. So we have a group over here and we have the ID of soccer ball. So now we know that this is the code for soccer ball. And uh, if we scroll up we have the body right here. And uh, in the same way we have the shoe and right hand, left hand and all. So let's start by creating an index.html file. So click on new file. And then I'll just type index.html. Since we are using VS Code, we can just type exclamation and press tab and we'll get this basic HTML5 code. And uh, I'll also create a style.css file to style this page and I'll just link it over here. Alright, so let me go ahead and start by creating a division with a class of SVG animation container. And in that we'll copy the SVG. So just go to the SVG file and I'll just select everything and copy and paste it over here. So the SVG has been copied. Now let's go to the style.css file and uh, let's start animating the SVG. Alright, so let's open this in our browser. So right click over here and click on open with live server. If you don't have this option, just go ahead and install the extension called live server on uh, VS Code. So go to this extensions tab and search for live server and install that. First of all let's target the SVG animation container and uh, we will give it a width of 500 pixels and uh, we will set the width of the SVG to 100% of the parent. Alright now let's uh, give it a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.4 and uh, let's set the padding to 
24 pixels and we'll set the margin to 0 auto to bring it to the center and then let's also add a border radius of 20% I think we can just decrease the height of this SVG so right click over here and inspect and uh, let's see if we decrease the height right, so let's set the height of the SVG to 550 Alright, so now let's start animating the elements. So the first thing we'll animate is the background color. So let's type hash BG element, which is the name that we had given to this element. Now to add an animation in CSS, you have to type animation and then give a name to the animation. So we'll type change color and then set the timing of the animation. So we'll set it to three seconds. And there are many different options that you can give to the animation. So we'll just set it to infinite and alternate so after the color reaches to one color it will animate back to the other color so now that we've given this name change color let's create the animation so for that you have to type add keyframes and then the name of the animation now here we can add percentages so we'll type 0% and 100% so at 0% we want the color to be red so for that we have to type fill red and we can see that already the animation is working and at 100% we will change the color to say blue so we can see that the animation is working alright so let's comment this animation for now and I'll just turn on the animations after we finish everything alright so the next thing we will animate is the soccer ball so just type hash soccer ball so this is the name that we are given to this soccer ball so let's type animation and for the animation we'll give it a name of bounce and uh, we'll set it to one second infinite and uh, alternate and we'll also set an easing we'll set it to ease in so the animation starts slowly and uh, then uh, builds the speed up so let's create the animation we'll type keyframes bounce right so for zero percent we'll just type transform translate y to zero and for hundred percent we will set transform translate y to minus hundred pixels and I think we need to change ease in to ease out Right, the animation is working all right so let's uh, disable it for now so now let's animate the shoe so we'll just type hash shoe and uh, we will type animation and for this we will give it a name of rotate and we will set the timing to two seconds infinite alternate right now let's create the animation for rotate so we'll type keyframes rotate and then for 10 percent we will set the transform rotate to 10 degrees and uh, for 70 percent we'll set the transform rotate to negative 5 degrees now this is not how we want it to work so for that you have to change the transform origin and the transform box so we'll type transform origin and we'll set it to right and uh, then the transform box and we'll set it to fill box alright so now it's working how we want it to work so let's also uncomment this uh, soccer ball animation and see whether everything is working all right I think we need to change the translate Y for the 0% of the soccer ball animation so I'll just change it to say 20 pixels and uh, it is working all right I think we'll change 10% to 0% and uh, I think that's it for uh, this uh, shoe animation so let's uh, comment both the animations alright now let's animate the hands so here we will type hash right hand and uh, we'll create an animation with the name of rotate hand 
and we'll give it two seconds of duration infinite and alternate so let's create the animation at keyframes rotate hand and for zero percent we will set the transform rotate to negative five degrees and for seventy percent we'll set the transform to rotate 10 degrees and uh, we also have to copy this uh, transform origin and uh, transform box over here so that's it with the hand animation we'll create one more for the left hand so we we'll just copy this and we'll just type left hand and we'll change the animation name to rotate L hand and I'll just copy this uh, animation from here and uh, I'll paste it over here and I'll just rename this to rotate L hand and uh, we'll set it to 5 degrees and uh, 0 degrees for 50 percent now for the transform origin of the left hand we'll set it to top left all right so now the animation is working all right so I just experimented with these values over here you can just go ahead and uh, experiment with different values and uh, get the result you want so let's uncomment all the animations and see whether everything is working all right and we can see that the animation is working all right so that's basically how you add animation to SVG using CSS so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day